Hey guys, so I have here my JBL headphones. In this case, these are the uh, Everest Elite 700. And the ear cushions here, the ear pads, have gone really bad. So you see how they are flaking off. So every time I'm using them, I end up with a lot of white flakes in my face. So I actually contacted JBL about replacements for the ear pads. And for the US market, they told me that they don't sell those at all. I did find some replacements in JBL's UK store. So in case you're located in that market, then maybe you find them there. So now since JBL did not want to help me with the replacements, I had to come up with a different solution. And when you're looking online, you don't really find aftermarket earpads for JBL headphones. So I had to come up with a different solution. And that was still online, of course. And what I was doing was I was looking for replacement earpads that had right around the same size and diameter of the original earpads of my Everest Elite here. When you look for replacement earpads online, then you usually find the dimensions of the earpads in the description. So even though these earpads were not specifically made for JBL headphones, they still can be used here. And in case you're trying to replace the earpads on a different model of JBL headphones, then you can just do the same. Just measure the size of the original earpads and then find something similar online. And this is what I ended up finding here, these wicked cushions. Um, I'm putting a link below in case you're interested in uh, getting those as well. So see, they also come in white, just like my original headphones. They did end up being a little bit bigger than the original ones, which in the end didn't really turn out to be a bad thing at all. So you see here the comparison, the original ones on the left and then the new one on the right. So now let me show you how I ended up installing these new earpads. So I start out by removing the original earpad this is clicked into place with like a, some plastic clips. So I'm just prying in between the ear pad and the ear cup. You see this, you can just pop that open. You can use a prying tool or maybe like a knife that you can wedge in between there if you need some assistance. And you will find out that the outside leather is attached to this plastic ring here, this black ring that you see where the clips are uh, mounted to. So see, I can peel the leather off really easily. There's just some uh, glue that's always loose so I can just peel that off just to remove the leather part and then inside we find the uh, sh uh, this foam core which we also don't need anymore so we don't need the leather and we don't need the foam core so I'm going to peel both off here see this is really easy you don't need a lot of force and it's actually not going to get damaged a lot when you do this in case you want to reuse this for anything later on now the leather part that is still attached now to the to this black ring and we all we need is the black ring so i'm going to use here a little knife uh, to go in between the uh, leather and the black ring so you see there's also like a different uh, shiny clear plastic glued on there on top so i'm just wedging in my knife here and i'm just going to break apart the glue here just to separate the different pieces and then towards the end i can just tear it off so now you still see this little piece of fabric here that has, in this case, the L for the left ear cup. And you may consider keeping this piece in case you want to use this still as a little indicator for which side is the left and which side is the right ear cup. So for now I'm going to carefully detach this here from the plastic ring. And then I might wash this in case I do consider to keep using this piece here. So now we're almost done recovering the plastic ring. The only thing that's left is this foam piece right in between and since the new ear cups do come with a foam already pre-installed I'm going to uh, remove these here. So it's, this is just glued in position so I have to tear this out. Now if you do consider to reusing those fabric pieces with the L and the R on it then this is just how I was thinking you can still keep using them. Just put them inside of the ear cushions. There's usually enough space for you to just wrench them in there and then spread them out and they're just going to stay in position without having to uh, glue them on or anything they're just going to stay there and now it is time to attach the new ear pad to this black ring that we have and you see inside of the ear pad that's where you have this lip here on the back side we're just going to slide this in there so you see the plastic ring does fit in there um, so we're just going to wedge it in and we just have to make sure that those plastic clips that are located on the black ring, that those are still visible and uh, accessible uh, and not being covered by the new ear pad. 
so it's, it may take a little bit of effort to uh, make sure that is the case but eventually you get there and then my last step is here to take the headphones and to line up the black ring with the new ear pads with the ear cup and you see those uh, holes inside of the ear cup you just have to make sure the uh, black clips align with those holes and just push them on so uh, they're going to make a little clicking sound to, uh, as a confirmation that they are in the correct position. And in case you're having a hard time getting those clips uh, hooked in, make sure that the ear pad does not cover the clips. So those that would prevent them from uh, seating correctly. So uh, always make sure when you press them in that the uh, clips are clear. And eventually you will get them all in there. So yeah, see now this is already completed. I already finished the other side earlier. You see how the uh, ear cups are a little bit bigger than the original, which I believe is actually a good thing because these bigger ear pads dampen out the outside noises more than the original ones did. So I actually like these ear pads better than the original ones before. Okay, so this is already it for this video. If you have any more questions or comments, then please write a message below. And if you like the video, then uh, give me a thumbs up.